Hello from the food forest. So today I'm going to harvest the purple yam, at least from one place. From what? From the look of it, it's a huge mound, so really has to be harvested. I have it growing in a few other places within the food forest too, but this one is the biggest one. And we have actually winter, so already August, uh, which is the last month of our subtropical winter here in Australia. So, yeah, let's get started. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And please leave a comment below. I love to read your comments. And also they help my channel to be found more easier uh, in the YouTube search. So, yeah, it would be lovely if you do this. So, yeah, now the hair up. <laughs> and... Let's get started. Oh, and I will see you at the end of the video again. So stay with me up to the end and yeah, we will see how much we got of it, of this one place. So let's go. Okay, first of all, we have to clean the area. Look at it. So yeah, it's dying off in winter and this is the time for the harvest of purple yam and it's coming back in spring. So if I leave there a piece and I always do, I will have a new purple yam growing in spring. This is a very useful tool for all sorts of work in the garden and knife sharp. I am selling it in my online shop, by the way, if you want to have it. So really like clearing, oh, look, bang, how nice and sharp. This is the longevity spinach, by the way. And this is the Okinawa spinach that grows everywhere here. But we wanna go for the purple yam. <laughs> These are, by the way, the little bull beads but I will also grow a purple yam. So I have many of them already in pots waiting for spring. So I will have some plants available in the online shop too. Now, let's have a look what we've got, huh? Ah, look, 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 look. Sticking out already. <laughs> I really don't want to damage the purple yam too much. So trying to free up a little bit. Okay. Oh some more bull bits to plant. These are the bits that we grew, uh, yeah, from the purple yam. And we have a third one there. So they are all getting harvested today. Okay, it looks like they are connected, these two. So let's see. 
let's see how far they go yeah looking good the first one is out This is a good size, isn't it? Wait until we wash it, we rinse it, to see what we've got. Let's get the second one. Oh wow! This one is really a good one. I don't want to damage it, really. Wow! Come on, baby. Woo! Awesome. Here, a smaller one. Nice big one. And heavy. <laughs> Really heavy. We will put it on the scale later. Look at this baby. I cut with the fork a little bit through, but it's that's fine. Okay. So we have a third one here. With all the root in between. Look, this is good tool. Oh, one more here. Look at this baby. Oh, yummo. Yummy, yum. <laughs> Big one too. And they are heavy. <laughs> Look, I cut a little bit, but it's okay. And one more there. And before we go, we have to make something really important. <laughs> Let's try the fork. Closer. Ah. Okay. One here. Oh, there is more. Yep. And there. Let's try again. Oh, don't you love when soil goes into your gloves? Come on. Move! Move! <laughs> ah. Yes! Got it! Oh, Look at this baby! Oh, it's huge! So how will it stand in the, in the ground? Let's have a look! Here! But you know what? I will leave it because that's what I anyway wanted to do. Leave some pieces in there for the spring. So yeah, there are definitely some. Oh, there is still something going on in here. Isn't it exciting?
let's have a look. Yeah, come on. Ah. Yes, I got you. Unbelievable. Look at it. Ha! So yamo. <laughs> Look at this beauty. Like my head. <laughs> Bang. Okay. Now we have some pieces. And I tell you a secret. When I leave them in the ground, they will come up again in spring. I think I've got everything out of this place. Oh no, there is more. Okay. That's just a tiny one. So, that will be basically enough. One for here and one there. And we will just Put the soil back there. Oh. You can find everything in my food forest. Oh no, there is some, some more, more purple yam. Okay. Let's get it. I want to get all of the larger pieces. If I see it, if I find it, simply because this is a lot of starch, delicious, 100% organically grown, perfect potato replacement. You know exactly what you've got when you grow your own. You can make desserts with them. You can make dumplings with them. You can just boil them. Leave them. And yeah, just enjoy them with salt and butter or with... Or with... Um, yeah, with sauce. Or you can make cakes. Did you know that? I learned it all from Asian people. As they make all the delicious goodnesses out of it. For ages already. Where we from Europe have to learn it. So one more. Can you believe it? soil is nice and fluffy but this is years guys this is years of organic matter of improving the soil of growing everything in it what wants to grow in here and this area is slightly raised slightly only but still and we add Added lots of compost, mulch, everything. Okay, so I think that's the last one. <laughs> and there are some small pieces. So I will get them out. I will leave one in here because why not? It likes to grow there. So do whatever you want in here. I have a second small piece which I not worth to do it so I will put it somewhere else in a different place somewhere in the food forest now let's have a look what we've got we have one two this is really big with many small pieces which I also will transplant somewhere. So I will just get them off now. 
I will put some into the pots as well, even though I have already quite a few pots. For those who are on the waiting list, should be enough. Look at it. They are all goodness. All nice small pieces that will grow these huge babies. <laughs> so, get it off. So I'm going home with only the large ones. And this one I can part to one, two, three, four, at least four pieces. And put it somewhere in the food forest or in the pots. So look at it. Three. It doesn't look that big on the camera, I think. But... This one is full of soil. Bang. Here, some more smaller ones. Again, they will all grow to this. If you don't have a good soil and you want to grow them, just make a slightly raised garden bed. This will improve the... I have it on my page and I will share the photo of how I do it, how I set it up. If you haven't seen it yet, I will add the photo into the comment section, in the, into the post section on YouTube. There is a post section where I can place a photo, you can see, you can comment on it. So, wow, look at it. Ha! Oh, this one got lots of soil here. Look, and purple yam has no bugs in it, nothing, or at least I never seen it. This would be a first time if there is anything, but I doubt so. Okay, so let's get this one off here too. I can place it somewhere in the food forest as well. And I do with the small piece too, I guess. I will cut it in half and will place it into the pots. I move them onto the grass so they don't get dirty again when I wash them and it's also dry so it will be good for the soil here and now let's wash the babies I have a scale in my shed, so I will go and check the weight of it and we'll be right back. <laughs> I just came back from the shed, so this is a total of over 17 kilo. <laughs> Doesn't look like probably like this on video, but this is a huge amount of delicious potato substitute. Okay. The job is done. <laughs> Over 17 kilograms of uh, purple yam. That's a really good haul, really good harvest. Let me grab the one of the larger ones. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're pretty heavy. <laughs> Look at this. We end up with one, two, three, four like this and one two three four five six seven smaller pieces so this is a really good crop one season growth i harvested my last uh, purple yam last winter so pretty much one year ago and left some a couple of pieces in the soil in the same place so this is the same place like last year 
I also have it. I also have put some uh, smaller pieces last year into a few other places. So there will be some as well. And yeah, definitely worth growing. Let me put it away because they are not <laughs> really like you can hold it forever with one hand. <laughs> oh, upro by the way, they are a bit slimy. They are a bit slimy to touch or to peel, but when you cook them, the sliminess, <laughs> or how you call it, disappears. So this is only when, when they are raw. But look at it, so yum. Mm, they really, really good taste, delicious. And yeah, so as already mentioned, one season, one year growth. I left few pieces there. And this is what I've got now. The basically the better the soil, the better they grow. I never grown them like a high raised garden beds. This area here where they grow uh, are slightly raised garden beds that we prepared because the soil here was really crap when we got the <laughs> when we bought the property. So, slightly raised garden bed. You will check the posts, the YouTube posts. You will see what I mean when I placed, when I put the pot, the my drawing there. What I mean, how to prepare it. Relatively very easy and straightforward, but it makes huge difference. So it improves the soil underneath, and everything grows much better. So yeah. That's enough for today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will now... Ah, yes. So I washed the purple yam. I will put it now on a rack, rack or something in here. And we'll completely dry it. The outer skin before I place it in the fridge. And they will keep pretty long for in the fridge. I have tried it last time, most of it I boiled and mashed and kept in a freezer, which is a good way to store them if you don't have so much space in fridge. But I also left a few pieces in the fridge and they kept for a really long time. So I will probably, most of them, yeah, will have to find a place in the fridge <laughs> and we'll keep them there and we will just use them and boil them and yeah enjoy them for as long as possible so thanks for watching take care and hopefully see you next time <laughs> bye bye what a treasure isn't it <laughs>